I'll remind you often. I don't want your money. I don't want your worship. I don't want your advice. You know, you're in the book of death for a good reason. Until you make atonement for your soul and publish video proof of it right beside my own. Under the title, Blood Over Intent, the tag, Blood Over Intent, and the description, Blood Over Intent, on YouTube, you're literally in the wrong book. And there's only 144,000 in the book of life. It's set up this way for a reason. Your creator is not heartless. I only have to wake up 144,000 zombies you know, and trigger an exodus that gets everybody eternal life. There's no way to fuck this up. You know, I have everything I need to pull this off. And in 2019, we will. People may try and go before then. But it's clear who holds this spear of destiny. And the angel of death is my blood brother. This is an exodus for a reason. 144,000 that will pass into this garden. First, you know, gain the eternal life. Come back here with seeds. You know, release everybody from bondage. Replant these giant trees. Get everybody to the Holy Grail before they're dead. Do some biblical stuff, you know? I don't need your money. I don't want your worship or your advice. I'm Satan. I stand on gallons of blood, millions of fucking witnesses, thousands upon thousands of others with their blood beside my own. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, and it's clear who is the prince of darkness, motherfucker. You need to be seven generations removed from that reptilian core to your brain to be allowed into the Garden of Eden. You see here, Tubal Cain was the eighth generation after Cain. My mother's maiden name is Cain, and uh, I'm Mark Braun, like Brahma. The angel of death is going to find you, motherfucker. Her for them. We shall fix it. Hey, believe. We'll offer them. We shall fix that. Believe. Satan. Standing on gallons of blood and the mythical Holy Spear. People think I'm the one with all the brains, but really it's my wife. I just follow her orders. You know, she says, drink the menstrual blood. I drink the menstrual blood. She says, spill your blood up over here for the benefit of all. I spill my blood up over there for the benefit of all. You produce blood, sweat, and tears. So you see your birth certificate, American Banknote Company. When you were born, they took the soul from you. Your parents gave it up willingly, and they put you down as a stillborn, lost at sea, dead. You gave up the land. You gave up the soul that you have. You have to pay for everything now. You can't see it. You're just going to go along as a silly human slave for the rest of your life because you're filthy fucking retarded. Now, you think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident, and that's not the case. The devil literally has your soul in the Vatican. You're fucking lost at sea, legally dead. And you don't have to like it. But you gave up the land. You gave up your soul. And your parents gave it away without even knowing it. So you might think you have your soul and shit, but no. You have to prove you're a living being to get back your divinity. You have to literally write out on a piece of paper on video. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth, like here into the 4D. And you put your blood on that. Then you publish it. On YouTube, side by side with your brethren, title it Blood Over Intent, you tag it Blood Over Intent, and description Blood Over Intent. And then you can see, all of us are side by side, blood is thicker than water, and we're taking back reality whether anybody likes it or not. See, I have the Holy Spear. I know where the Holy Grail is, and I'm taking everybody there in a couple of years. You want to place your blood beside my own, or you're legally dead, and this world is mine and my blood brothers. So you see here, the ancient people would take livestock, wealth, family out on the sea. And the captain and the navigators had to spill their blood over their intent to return those souls home safely. Before you go off to a war and leave your house and your wife with your brother, you know, you're going to make him spill his blood over his intent. If you come home and you're, he, she's knocked up with kids and stuff and you're missing a leg because you were at war or something like this, you know. Back then, things were much simpler. They wrote shit out on paper. They spilt their blood over their intent so that there was no fucking mistaking, uh, mistaking it. So, you know, I put up this blood. I realized that uh, I can see shit nobody else can see. And it doesn't matter what anybody else believes. I know what the fuck is up. And uh, I recommend you place your blood beside ours on YouTube. With that title right there, Blood Over Intent, you tag it, and description. 
And you stand strong with your brethren, blood thicker than water, in a common cause of bringing forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. you got to keep it vague just like that. Because, listen, people, I'm uniting the dark and the light, the good and the bad. It's no soul left behind. The idea is to get to this holy grail in like a three-wave type thing. A first wave, a second wave, a third wave. The first wave is people like you who placed your blood beside my own. That's the lamb's blood on your door. The second wave will be your loved ones. You know, you're putting up your blood for them. And uh, we're going to lead the way. 144,000 strong. And it's not going to cost you anything. This is biblical stuff. I literally stand here on gallons of blood with the Holy Spear. Millions of motherfucking witnesses. Look, look, there's 50, over 15 million witnesses on my channel. And what I'm saying to you is that there's thousands upon thousands of people with their blood beside my own. Uh, for you to even try and count them all right now, it would be ridiculous. Uh, you couldn't get to the end of it. it. You'd get bored before getting to the end of it. What I'm saying to you is that it's working. We're getting out of here alive. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. Hurry. The angel of death is gonna find you, motherfucker. Her offer them. We shall fix that. Believe. We'll offer them. We shall fix that. Believe. God hates you. Wish he no. Wish he died. We smell no. God loves you. We smell no. We shall die. We smell yeah. I love you. We will we die. Smell, yeah. Uh, you wake up. Fuck you. Uh, you wake up. Wake up. You see, I published this video. I intend on closing out the book of death for my blood brother, the angel of death. I know where the holy grail is. There will be no other way out. I know where the holy grail is. There will be no other way out. I have the spear of fucking destiny. I got you saying. I got It's clear who holds the spear of destiny. Motherfucker, we're up for them. Eat it, said Reaps. It's more who reels it. We'll offer them. Inside reaps us a whole new reality. Alright, people. That's the Dory out. It's through the abyss. Save me, there's it. Why are you on the set? I'll be here. Save me, Lucy. I know you're inside of the earth. So it turns out we're in the mega death right now. You know, it's crazy. The fountain of youth is right over there. And we need to get there before we're dead. You know? I look at the sun and I speak my intent. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth and release everybody from bondage. And the sun programs me to do very specific things. I'm taking over this universe. Nobody can stop me. It's engraved in my bones. The holy grail. Everything about it. And, uh... Like I say, I have the mythical demon codes. Nobody can stop me. You don't have a fucking leg to stand on. You have no spiritual currency. You're like a lifeless body. <laughs>